Hey, what's going on guys? So in this quick video, I'm gonna give you a couple of practical mindful tips if you are someone who is currently experiencing gym anxiety. Gym anxiety to the point where you feel intimidated to go to the gym. Now, when I first started working out, I was about going to the gym and doing weightlifting, that is. I was about 13 years old and I remember I was pretty intimidated because I went in not really knowing what I was doing and I was a kid and so I was around sometimes these bigger adults and it was just an uncomfortable situation because it was brand new for me. And I over time got over the intimidation by my first tip, which is to just expose yourself to what you are feeling intimidated by and expose yourself to what is making you feel anxious just over and over and over and over again and then over time you will get used to this new type of environment you'll get used to this new type of experience of going to the gym ex consistently and it will just over time by pure repetition of just going there for a period of time like an hour hour and a half you're just going you're going to be naturally accustomed to it so that's my first tip is to actually just expose yourself to what you're intimidated by at the gym and what makes you anxious at the gym so let's say though that you have a hard time being able to do that on your own here's my next tip is to actually go with a workout partner Go with someone who you can go to the gym with on a pretty consistent basis. It doesn't have to be every time. It could be two to three times a week. And that way you have support from a friend. Maybe it could be somebody who is also trying, trying to get into the gym more as well. Or it could be someone who has more experience who can sort of show you the ropes and everything on some things that they may know more about than you do. So that is my next step, is to get a workout partner to go with you to the gym as a support person. And then over time, if you go about that route, you won't need that form of support as much because, again, like my first tip, you've exposed yourself to what makes you intimidated and anxious so much so that it fades away. And so you just get used to being in the gym. And then my third tip would be to practice mindfulness breathing. So a lot of times when we're anxious, when we're intimidated by something, we can have very shallow breaths and get caught up in the sort of thinking that couples with the feeling of being anxious and intimidated. And when that happens, what I encourage you to do is to actually take a few deep breaths and to practice some form of mindful, quick meditation on what is bothering you, what is causing you trouble, what is it about the gym that makes you anxious and intimidated. And you hold that thought. And while you're, you're practicing the deep breathing, you're being mindful of the fear of the thought, you separate yourself from the thought, from the fear, for what it really is, in, reality is just you trying to put a a label or a conclusion to an experience that you haven't had yet you're expecting an experience to go a certain way and it's a fearful expectation and so when you can become mindful of that like okay well i'm expecting it to go this way without actually experiencing it going to the gym and the anxious and intimidation, the anxiety and in, in the intimidation, but why is that? And so you can sort of separate yourself from the thought, the fear, contemplate about why you are anxious or intimidated and think about practical ways of handling that sort of fear beyond anything that I've said so far, if you can. So, so far I've said, expose yourself to just going to the gym over and over again, expose yourself to what you're anxious and, and um, fearful about. And then if you feel too overwhelmed to do that on your own, 
do it with a workout partner. Go with somebody. And if you feel the fear and the anxiety and the intimidation, you know, really hit you, practice the forms of mindfulness, mindful, quick meditations that I just explained with some deep breathing. In fact, just practicing deep breathing on your way to the gym, when you're in the gym, you know, you go in the locker room and you change, you get ready to go back out. Just practicing deep breathing throughout all of that can actually be enough to sort of let yourself be less attached to the fear and it doesn't mean as much to you because deep breathing in of itself is a form of relaxation it calms you and that's why it's coupled so much with meditation practices so i don't want this video to be too long but i hope you got some value from the tips i gave to you in this video for how to handle gym anxiety and the intimidation if you like this video go ahead and give it a like if you have anything that you want to comment about the video, leave a comment. And this is Aaron Watkins from Watkins Fit, available for personal training in downtown Denver. And I'll see you all in the next video.